In this video we'll create a frame and panel assembly. We've already got a door on this cabinet and it's selected and showing in green. Now let's go to the properties menu, structure, edit and click down here on assembly. With the quick design libraries loaded, by default this creates a frame using a bar material and a panel material in the middle. The frame joints are mortise and tenon and the panel is grooved into the frame you can see with this dashed line here. So we've got the assembly dialog box open now. On the right hand side are a set of parameters. Let's go down those. We have assembly method. It's set to overpassing upright. The upright is the style that overpasses the rail or the crossbar. We can change it to overpassing crossbar or to mitre joint. The uh, penetration of the mortise and tenon joint is always perpendicular to the angle of the joint line. So in this case we've got the mortise and tenon protruding outside our frame, but we can change the parameters for that later. Let's change the assembly method back to overpassing upright, which is more commonly used. In the mortise and tenon parameter section we've got depth. That's the penetration of the mortise and tenon. Let's change the depth to 40 and we can see that that tenon is now that little bit longer. The thickness is the actual thickness of the tenon. If you uncheck this box it defaults to the total thickness of the frame. Let's leave that at 8mm. The shoulder, let's zoom in a bit, the shoulder is this distance from the edge of the frame to the tenon. So let's change that to 15mm. We can see that the shoulder is larger, the tenon itself has got smaller. The alignment refers to the position of the tenon within the frame. It's centered at the moment. Let me show you that in wireframe over here, 3D. So we can see the tenon here centered within the frame. If I go back now uh, to edit the assembly again, we find it in the properties menu. Click on the three dots and edit. Let's change it to front and click OK. You can see the tenon's now moved to the front face of the frame. Let's go back into assembly edit. We can have it flush with the back as well if we want. Let's change it back to centered. We can now adjust the parameters of the central panel here. We can change the actual material. These are all materials from our materials library and the thickness is an inherent characteristic of that material. Uh, 16 millimeters, 19 millimeters and so on. Let's leave it as it is. We also have alignment that's the alignment of the panel in relation to the frame. So we can have it centered or front here, which means it will be flush with the front of the frame or back flush with the back of the frame. Let's leave it centered. We can also independently adjust the material for the upper crossbar or the upper rail here. It's a bar material at the moment. We could change it to a panel. If it's a panel material, I mentioned the thickness is an inherent part of that material. So that's defined when you define the material. The width though you can change directly here. And the overlap, that's this groove of the panel into the frame. Let's change that to 20. We see that dotted line has moved up. Let's go back to a bar material. Now bar materials, which are all listed in the bars library, they have a width and a thickness inherent to them. So when you select a bar, you won't have the width option because it's part of the material spec. I'm going to go back to a panel material. Let's put the width at 120, overlap back to 10. We can also add a shape to our frame. None is selected now. Let's change it to a curved end or we could have curved crossbar or just arc of circle for example. We can change the severity of the shape by changing its height. Let's put that back down to 30 I think. And we also can change here all the other uprights and crossbars. So right side, left side and bottom. If I just change the overlap to 30 mil you can see that they've all changed. The top rail has stayed the same. Here we can add intermediate crossbars. Let's put one in and now we've got some extra parameters for that. You see it pop in here. Let's change its distance from the top. 200 mil. If we want to change its the overlap or material we have to do it up here. Now if you want even finer control click down here on display advanced parameters. This opens up every single structural element independently. We can 
edit each of them in turn. So if I click here, we can see the right style selected or, or the left style. We can put more intermediate crossbars in. And we can also here in this advanced dialog box, change the orientation of those crossbars. Let's click OK and take a look at it in 3D. I'm going to right click on the 3D window and click center and reposition it. And let's view it in solid frame. We changed just this top rail to a panel material. Let's, let's change that back because it doesn't look very nice. Click on the three dots, edit and our upper crossbar here. Let's put the material back to bar and take that curve off. OK. Just a couple more things to show you quickly. Uh, over in the properties menu, you can also adjust parameters of each individual structural element here. So we could open up the intermediate rail and change its material. Or we could go and have a look at central panel 2 and actually click structure edit inside that to create another structure on top of this structure. Let's put another assembly item. Bar materials here, let's make them a little bit smaller. Click OK. So we've got another frame effect applied again. So you can see the structure assembly feature is you know, very powerful to create some really varied designs. Final point over in the quick design toolbars here, we can delete the structure that's selected, which is just the second one. Select the whole door, delete the structure there. And now, as we have no structures, we've got a new icon, apply a library structure here. Let's click on that and we can select from a range of pre-configured structures, click apply and that loads up and we can then go and edit as before. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.